Do you ever have a heap of packaging materials that looks like this? Let's rescue it from the recycling bin and turn it into some cute gift bags. For starters, you'll need your iron, your Cricut, and oh yeah, don't forget to grab that black pen that probably came standard with your machine. So this is perforated paper and I'm just going along and I'm tearing this along the perforations. And it tears fairly easily. Smooth it out a little bit and then just um, pull. And now I'm going in here. I have an ironing mat and I have my Easy Press Mini and I'm going along and I'm ironing this paper so that it is doesn't have those sharp creases in it. And you can have some wrinkles, that's okay. I thought that it looked a little bit cool to have it um, a little bit wrinkly and you're never going to remove all of the wrinkles anyway. So now I'm just going here and I'm putting it on my Cricut mat. And you don't want a brand new mat that's really, really sticky or you're going to tear your paper, but you want a little bit of sticky. And now I'm going to just crease it along the edge here so that it's the full width of the mat. And then I'm going to cut off the excess. And I believe that this was about two and a half inches that I cut off the edge of this. So you could use your paper trimmer too if you have one. And now I just go through here and I smooth out some of the bubbles so that um, the pen writes better here. And I really didn't have any trouble with that, but I just wanted it as smooth as I could. Okay, so here I am in Cricut Design Space, and let's go ahead and look for some images that we can use on our bag. Um, let's go to image free this week, and um, I am searching just for the cut and draw images. And you can go um, and look for, you know, in the all images, but we're going to look for cut and draw, or you could look for draw only. But I saw that there was some um, images of the cutie. A lot of people like the Cricut cuties, and so I thought I have a couple of Christmas theme bags done, so we can go ahead and maybe look for something in the cutie images and here I have this one and let's add that to our canvas and we can add some text to that and this is the text B F C French bread and you can see that this is actually a regular font or you can make it into a writing font. And so let's go ahead and add our peekaboo at the top here. Now this image has a outline or a, a backdrop and you can see that if you go to the lower right hand corner here that it's attached. So we can go to detach and now we can get just our drawing and we'll delete that little background. It's made for like a draw and cut and we're just drawing today. So we're going to um, put our little image there. And I want this whole thing to be only about five inches tall. So let's do that and I can align them in the center. 
And now I'm going to attach and I'm going to go to make it. Now you can see that on the mat you have um, your image way over to one side and because I'm drawing and I'm going to be making the bag the way that I am I want to um, move this more towards the center and I can do that here because I want to draw almost right smack dab in the center of that paper and I also want to go down I have measured my paper and I know that that fold line I'm going to be making is right around that 7 mark or maybe actually closer to the 8, not quite to the 8. Most of my images I kind of kept between 7 inches and 2 inches up here. Um, I'm going to bring this one down a little bit more so that he's peeking out from the fold at the bottom of the bag. And now when I have that finished, I can click continue. And I'm going to browse my materials and this probably isn't all that critical for the drawing pen but let's see I think I actually have that marked as a favorite yes the grocery bag so I'm done and I can load my mat with my paper on it and I can press go and in the next scene we'll see how that draws out on that bag So once I got going creating these bags with the uh, drawing pens, I got a little bit addicted to it. So here's a different one that I did. Um, I finished the cutie one and you'll see it at the end of the video. But I'm just going along here and I'm just trying to fold this over without creasing it. And you'll see why in a second. But I'm taking some of my art glitter glue and I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. But I'm going along here and maybe just a, about a quarter of an inch. Um, I'm leaving or putting just a little bit of glue down. And then I'll just fold over the other edge to meet it. And now I flip it over and now I can kind of line it up, line the design up in the middle and give those crease or give those edges a good crease. Now you could get a little bit fancier with the folding at the bottom of this bag, but I just decided to um, turn it up about a half an inch and that's where this mat comes in really handy because the markings are on there and you can sort of line up that that edge and I'm going along and on the inside of the fold I'm adding glue And now I'm just going to add some more glue here and I'm going to fold that edge up against the bag. And 
And now I noticed that my corners were sticking up a little bit more than I wanted them to, so I'm going in here and I'm just giving them a quick fix with a little bit more glue. And now when you're ready to give your gift, you can just turn down the top of your bag. And there's a lot of different ways that you could decorate this. You could use a sticker. You could use twine. I'm just going to punch a couple of holes in the top of the bag with my paper punch and add some gingham ribbon that I have. And the neat thing about this, you could take this paper and make it any size and you could make your bag smaller, like for a gift card size. You could hang these on the tree. So let's take a look at some of the bags. Here's one with a little village scene on it. I just used some twine at the top. Here's our cutie one we did. I put some little snowflake um, decorative paper at the top. Here's a cabin with warm winter wishes with a writing font. Here's an old truck one with the Merry Christmas and then a dog with some gifts. That would make a great gift for a dog lover or for your dog groomer. I'd love to know what you thought of this project. I'm just going to fill one of my bags with a favorite coffee here. This would be a great um, idea for a coffee gift card type of um, Christmas gift. Hot cocoa. If you like this project, I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more Cricut tutorials, I hope you'll stick around and subscribe to my channel. We'll see you next time on Say It With Simplicity. Bye now!